Hello, everybody! This is the old boy 2 coming at you with my episode review of episode 16 of Golden Time! Now, this was a really eventful episode, even though it didn't have a lot going on it. And it, it but it was very important on uh, lots of aspects. Lots of aspects which were really important. So let's get into it. This episode kicks off with um, them. Fi we finally see the accident after the car spins off after Coco falls asleep. Uh, she is really shook up about it. Um, Ultra uh, Okosan Miss Ultrasonic had a little bit of a busted lip, so it was bleeding a little. And c this really affects Coco because we get back and her, you know, they call her parents. And her dad literally freaking backhand slaps her across the face as she's walking forward to him and um, just falls to the ground. So, but with that in aspect, this episode really focuses on Coco's reaction to how she feels about the accident. Because afterwards, everyone's, blam everyone's blaming themselves partly the way. They go like, if I didn't do this, this wouldn't have happened. Or if I didn't do this, this wouldn't have happened. Or if we stood it with... Tootie comes like, if I did it, if I had, had taken the wheel, this wouldn't have happened. If I had stayed. Um, um, Tana Bonnery is like, if I had stayed awake and talked to her, this wouldn't have happened. So everyone's blaming themselves for the accident. Um, and... But we haven't seen Coco for all this time. She's been locked up in our room... And she cannot, bl she's totally blaming herself for everything. She cannot forgive herself. And Tata Bonnery ends up coming over. And talking to her, and she's blaming herself, and blaming herself, and blaming herself. Her dad lets him in. And, um, finally we find out the biggest reason she's blaming herself. Because she blows up, she blows up and yelling at him about, you forgot all these people you forced yourself to forget and leave this life behind. And what she's really afraid of is what if Tata Bonri, her boyfriend, got in this accident and lost his memory again? Would he leave her behind as well? Would he move on and forget all about her and leave it? So this was the biggest thing she was dealing with. The biggest thing she was dealing with was not just that she couldn't forgive herself, for being this child, for being someone who could wasn't as grown up as she thought she was. She thought she was grown up, but then she reflected, no, I'm a child still. I haven't grown up. I haven't dealt with this. And But the biggest thing she cannot uh, come to grips with is she's afraid of losing Tadabani, mostly because of a dream, uh, where it's, she drives and gets a, a says, get out. The sign says, get out. She gets out and the, he just drives away. But she doesn't want to lose him. The biggest part she cannot handle is losing him. She cannot take that. She cannot deal with that. She cannot accept, what if I lose him? That is the biggest part she cannot handle. And I find that very deep. She loves him so much that she fears losing him that much over anything. She cannot handle that. And that was a very big thing with this episode, the coming to grips of how we keep on getting that she really loves him. But every episode, something happens, and we get it deeper and deeper and deeper. It's so deep. It's so hard. It's so woe. And being one who has lo loved and lost, I get this, how it hurts so much with the idea of losing someone you love so much. So I get this. Um, I understand she cares for him so much. And the idea of having him leave her behind is just too much to bear. And that was most of the gist of what, she was, what this accident brought out of her. Losing the people she loves making one mistake and having it destroy everything. Thus, this is the old boy 82 saying, if you like this video, please click like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. This is the old boy 82 saying, out.